Hey everybody, it's me again. Come back to you with an update on the Warlord. Some of you may have gathered from looking at Instagram or Facebook or whatever that it is going to be a Chaos Warlord. It's going to be very, uh, very word bearers sort of themed. And in that light, what I've been doing is taking armor panels and slowly laser engraving. It'll pick that up. Laser engraving these cool little runes on it. And what that's led to is a lot of people asking how exactly I did that. But before I get into that explanation, we need to have a very important talk about safety because throwing any sort of resin or plastic into a laser cutter could potentially kill you and or your laser. And that happens because some sorts of plastics and resins have chlorine as a component in them. When you laser it, the chlorine escapes in the form of chlorine gas, which if you didn't know, is it can cause choking, coughing, pulmonary edema, death, or worse, it could corrode the crap out of your laser. So before we put anything into the laser cutter, we're going to do a very simple test to see if the material contains chlorine. So this is called the Baustein test, and it was created by a man named Friedrich Konrad Baustein, which is now the greatest name ever, back in the 1800s. And it's a very simple way to test for halides, one of which includes chlorine, which is what we don't want to have in our materials. It's a simple test. You can do it at home. You just need a couple of minor things that may involve a trip to the hardware store. So all you're going to need for this is you will need a source of flame. In this case, I've got just a simple little five, six dollar blowtorch. You're going to need a piece of copper. I mean, pure copper. You can buy these very cheap from the hardware store, typically in the wiring section. You can need pliers so you don't burn yourself. And then you'll need some materials to test. Now, in this case, we're going to be testing. We've got some acrylic here. This is just ordinary acrylic. It is a very common and safe laser cutting material. So we know that this contains no chlorine. This is PVC. It's PVC pipe. PVC pipe is very high on the list of things to never ever put in a laser cutter because the C in PVC stands for chlorine. And over here, rather than end up melting some of our models, we've got some Games Workshop sprue and a resin gate from our Warlord Titan. So those will provide us with our actual testing materials. So the way this test works is we're going to turn on the blowtorch. We're going to heat our copper wire up until it is red hot, until it's glowing. And it's going to perform a little oxidation on there. We then touch this onto our sample in order to get some residue on it and put it back into the flame. If the flame stays red, that's a reaction with carbon and we're, we have a safe material. If the flame turns green, that indicates the presence of a halide, which is chlorine, and that material should not go into your laser cutter. So let's take a look. <laughs> 